Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you have last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello. Hi. Hi guys. Hello. Nice to see all of you all back again. I hope all of you are enjoying all the hobby classes on YOLO and most importantly, all of you are taking good care of yourself. I'm really, really excited for the class three of our CD painting course because as you know, the showstopper of this course is a CD and we are switching our canvases, our typical canvases with a CD and we are painting on CDs because as I said in the previous classes as well, these CDs are becoming outdated. So instead of scrapping those CDs, why not make something creative out of it? And in the previous two classes, we have already created two of these beautiful CDs. In the first one, we painted a beautiful landscape. The second one was a fruit delicious CD where we painted a watermelon, a slice of watermelon on the CD. And in this class as well, we are going to paint on the CDs again. But this class is going to be totally relaxing. It's going to be totally therapeutic in the sense that we are just going to enjoy filling colors in different spaces that we create on the CD. So this class is going to be typically one where we're just going to relax, we're just going to enjoy, and we're just going to um, have that calming, peaceful uh, effects of painting and especially working with acrylics. So that is what I want you all to experience in this class. And that's the reason this class could be a little simple as compared to the previous class. But as I said, this is the one where you could actually experience the therapeutic benefits of acrylic painting and working with acrylic paints. So all said, all done. I think now it's time to get started with the class. But just before we get started, I want quick thumbs up coming in the rolling, uh, quick thumbs up rolling in the chat section so that I get an indication that you guys are ready with your art materials and it's time to just get started with the class. Come on, give me thumbs up in the chat section. Give me a bright smile and then I'll just share the screen. I'll discuss the art materials and we're just going to get started with the fun activity.
okay so quickly thumbs up coming in the chat section and our big beautiful smile and also in case you're not having the exact art materials if you're not having a cd in case you can just take a piece of paper you can cut it into a circle and you can paint on those as well because again one more aspect of enjoying any form is form of art is just you know finding materials which are closely related to the actual ones so your in case you're not having cds you can still cut out a paper or a cardboard in a circular form and paint on those it's not uh a stuff to worry about if you don't have the exact art materials because art has a lot more than just materials okay it's time that we uh perceive art and take art in a different form rather than always sticking to the typical art materials it's fine if you don't have those materials learn finding different substitutes to it and still take part in these activities because if you are also using a paper or a cardboard and cutting it into a circle and then painting on it and making a submission i am going to personally consider those uh, submissions as well because i just want you all to try out different things and of course enjoy working with me so that was all that for um, the people who are not having the exact art materials it's fine if you don't have the exact art materials and if you don't want to paint along you can just simply enjoy the process that's again not a problem so i have got good amount of uh, thumbs ups in the chat section i see people smiling on my screen so it's now time to just share the screen and we are beginning with our fun activity so let's quickly share the screen and let's get started okay so i hope you all are able to see the screen now and firstly the most important part i'm going to quickly discuss the art materials okay so let me quickly discuss the art materials and then we will just get started okay just give me a moment all right awesome so let's get started now i am quickly getting onto the art materials first number 1 of course we need a cd so i have a cd we are not going to paint on the side which is printed but we are going to paint on the side which is silver and the area where there's no prints okay and as i said at the beginning of this class as well if you're not having the cd you can simply use a paper or a cardboard in a circular form and you can paint on that as well but if you have a cd at your place it's best to make use of it right now because cds are going to be outdated it is already outdated and i don't see any use of cd now but it's only as good as we make it our canvas and enjoy painting on it okay so number one art material that's a cd Second, we need a marker over here. I have a permanent marker pen. This is a bold one. You can have any size of marker pen. We just need a marker pen to, you know, make some rough sketches on it. And it would be possible to make those rough sketches only with the help of a marker pen. You may not have a permanent marker pen. That's fine. But make sure that you have something like a CD DVD marker or even a sketch pen for that purpose. Because we just need to make small little. uh tiny rough sketches here and there to give us a guideline while we paint so make sure you have a sketch pen or a permanent marker or a cd dvd marker or something like that just to make those rough lines and edges on the cd while we paint number 3 we need these two acrylic paints just these two that black and white okay so we're just needing two of these acrylic paints that is black and white and nothing else for the acrylic paints of the shades number 4 we need brushes i have two of these round brushes over here you can have just one single brush that's totally fine and i have these paper towels with me that is nothing but a tissue paper if i'm not having tissue paper you can also use a rough cloth just something which you um use while painting to just clean your brush and etc so make sure that you have a paper towel or a tissue paper or a rough cloth with you and finally we need a water container of course we do not use much of water while we paint of course we do not use any water in that case while we paint because we all know by now that a cd is not an absorbing surface 
it and mixing water with the paint will not make any good to our painting so avoid mixing water to your paints because cd is not an absorbing surface it is a hard surface so it will not be able to absorb that water and you will just end up ruining your painting we need the water container just for the purpose of cleaning our brushes and that's the only requirement okay so that's all that we need for today's class that's basic art materials acrylic paints water container brushes cd if not cd then a round cardboard or a round paper whatever suits the case for you and the paper towels or a rough cloth and finally a sketch pen or permanent marker or cd delivery markers okay so i love discussing the art materials in detail because i don't want any of y'all it's not a single person should miss this class just on the basis that you don't have the exact art materials because it's fine if you don't have the exact art materials i give so many substitutes for the art materials because as i said i don't want you all to miss on to the fun activity okay so i hope all of you all have gathered all your art materials all the close substitutes of these art materials and all of you are ready for the class okay so i'm quickly beginning with the first process and i guess in this class there's not much of um, things to be discussed it's going to be simply a relaxing class as i said a therapeutic class so just for a few moments you can observe it on the screen and i think by uh, just in a minute or so you would be talented enough to just carry out the class all by yourself okay so i'm going to quickly show you one single step and after that you all can just get started with your paintings as well okay so just for the first time all eyes on the screen and let's get started so first we're just taking uh the permanent marker or the cd dvd marker or the sketch pen and we're just going to make these shapes randomly of different sizes so I don't know what would we call it as, but something like this is what I'm trying to create of different sizes, different shapes, just some haphazard lines covering the entire thing. And I'm just playing around. I'm gonna make more of these at all the sides of different sizes. And there we go. Okay, so this was plain simple step. I'm gonna quickly repeat this in case you haven't followed it and now you all can just jump into it you all can use your acrylic um, your permanent markers or the cd dvd markers or the sketch pen whatever you're using and make these rough sketch on the cd if you don't have any of these no sketch pen no permanent marker no cd cd dvd marker absolutely fine you can just take the black acrylic paint with a brush and make these uh, shapes okay so let's begin again for one more time and we are going to draw these enclosed shapes but having very uh, rough edges and by the title you might have already uh, known the class we are going to paint a cow print on the cd this time so if you have observed a cow i'm sure you must have observed a cow of course so the cow have these uh, kind of spots on their body and these are what i'm trying to reflect over here i'm just making these shapes very rough with this uh, permanent marker and now it's just the task half done we just have to paint white outside these uh, shapes and black inside these shapes okay so i'm going to repeat this again because this time you can just start along with me instead of waiting for me and observing the process you all can just get started so just listen to me carefully for one, for one time and then you all can just get started inside these shapes inside these shapes inside these these shapes we are going to paint black and the area outside it the area surrounding it we are going to paint it white so let's get started now i'm going to begin with a uh, white first because i think it's best when we use the black paint the last in our artwork it's always the best to use the black paint at the last step so i'm going to start with the white 
I am going to leave those spots. I'm going to leave those enclosed shapes and I'm going to begin with the background, the surrounding area that is white. Okay. So you can do it vice versa also if you want to paint white inside the enclosed shape, you can do that and you can give the surrounding area as black. But I would prefer giving the surrounding area as white and that is what I've begun with over here. So I'm going to quickly cover up this space entirely with white, leaving the shapes black or blank. For now, we are leaving them blank. Let's quickly complete this. So as I said, this is going to be really, really therapeutic. This is going to be really, really relaxing. So I just thought it would be nice if I could just make you all experience this aspect of art as well. And hence, I thought, why not have this cow print CD? Okay. So make sure that you're not spoiling the rough shapes that we have created but at the same time you're also enjoying this process so give me a thumbs up in the chat section if you're also enjoying the simple art making and also relaxing and having a peaceful time along with me yes quickly give me a thumbs up tell me if you're enjoying this okay so i'm giving the surrounding area as white as i said and in these uh, enclosed shapes, I'm going to paint black. So make sure that you are not mixing water with your paint. Otherwise, you'll not be able to cover the CD. And you'll still be able to see that silver part of the CD. So avoid mixing water with the paint. Use acrylic paint alone with the brush of course but without mixing any extra stuff with it okay i'm gonna quickly complete this area as well which is i think the last one over here okay so if you feel there's any kind of blank spaces or the silver base is still visible you can just cover it up nicely for me i think it looks good now i've already covered this uh, background area the surrounding area and i think now it's time to just finish off the the black part okay Awesome. So now I'm going to start with the black part. And if you remember, I was talking about using black as the last step of any painting process. So the same applies to you any other medium. If you're using watercolors, if you're using oil pastels, crayons, plastic crayons, whatever you're using, it's always the best to use the black shade as the last step because it is the darkest color and we don't want that color to just end up mixing with all the other colors. So it's always advisable to use black uh, as the last step of creating your art as far as possible. In certain cases, it might not be feasible for you all to use the black at the last step, but still you can make sure that you're using the black shade as the last step of the painting process. And hence, that's the reason I have used black at the next step as I'm doing it here. Okay, so here's the black acrylic paint. I'm going to quickly clean the brush and I'm going to use this black to fill up this holes. The holes or the spots, whatever you want to call it as. So I'm going to quickly finish this off. But at the same time, as I said, I'm going to enjoy the process as well. So how simple is this art making, but how, how, how therapeutic and relaxing it could be. Yes. I'm going to quickly complete this. Awesome. 
yes there we go so we are going to complete the spots in the similar manner i'm going to fill this black right over here i was just so engaged in this process that i just forgot that i was taking a class over here so i'm just kind of enjoying this filling up of spaces okay so on to the on to the last area now okay it's not the last the center portion is still left let's complete this okay all right last tiny portion so imagine if you would have used the black first and the white later it uh, it might have been that you know if you used black first and then used white it might be a case where you know the white is getting mixed with the black and it is forming a new shade a new color that is gray of course so we didn't want it that to happen and that's the reason i advised you all to complete the white portion first and then finish the black off okay so i have the cd ready in front of me and it looks totally awesome to me what do you think about it yes it was a cow print cd we use these acrylic paints and simple two shades that was just black and white and that was what we painted in this class it might be really really simple but i'm sure you must have enjoyed it you must have had a relaxing time and that was it for today i hope all of you enjoyed this class had therapeutic benefits of working with acrylics and do make your submissions if you have also used a cardboard or a paper as i said i'll be still considering your submissions because as i just keep repeating this in all of my classes that art is not just about materials or the exact materials but more about enjoying the process okay so if you enjoyed the process make sure that you make your submissions and if you have any special demands for what courses you would want to attend or what courses would you want us to come up with make sure that you just drop them in the comment section chat section and let us know we will surely come up with a course that you would like to attend okay so that was it for today's class i hope all of you all join the class make a submission let us know about your thoughts about this course and also for the upcoming courses that you wish to attend i'll see you in the next class till then please take care of yourself stay safe and bye bye hi everyone we are excited to have you here in today's fun filled learning session at yolo Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the submit your work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended, which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently next it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number choose your name from this list to submit your work for instance if you are satvik kumar choose that name and then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission for example if you've attended the new year's masquerade party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class click on the submit your work button below that and then upload the photo you've taken choose the image from your phone and click submit you can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work you can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends if you want to showcase your work on social media That too is very simple. 
click on share copy the link and post it on instagram or facebook or any other platform of your choice just a tiny reminder your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode do not forget to tag us at yolo underscore app i'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right up 